Hey Vogue, it's Tatiana and today I'm going to be going through my beauty secrets of having glowy dewy skin and natural glowy makeup. Okay, for real guys, this is not a Vogue video as you can tell. Um, maybe, maybe this might be like a manifestation one day whenever I do get like the Vogue, whenever I do get a call from Vogue to do like a beauty secrets video, but that is a 1.00001% chance that'll ever happen. The, the possibility is there, but will it probably happen? Probably not. I've been seeing this trend on YouTube where people have been doing like their own rendition of like a Vogue Beauty Secrets video, and I watch those videos all the time. I, I also incorporate a lot of uh, the celebrities' like makeup routines and beauty routines into my own and curate it into my own skincare and makeup routine. And I wanted to show you guys what I do to basically have glowy skin and natural, light, glowy makeup. By the way, I got my nails done today. And I think this is so perfect for the video. It's like so natural and pretty and like cute. And I have my like silk robe on. Like you know how they have the robes that are just like silky and expensive and bougie? This is what we're doing today. Okay, so obviously first and foremost, first and foremost, we cleanse the skin. So for my cleanser, I'm gonna be using the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. And I'm starting to run out. I can feel like it's a little bit more empty. So yeah, we're gonna start off by cleansing the face. Before I actually get started on my actual skincare routine, I like to use a gua sha to help drain out the excess water that's retained in your face. We all wake up looking very puffy, very bloated. So this helps basically uh, drain all that out. What I first like to do is take my Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Nourishing Oil and I just put two drops on my skin. And I just lather them right into my skin. So this basically helps give like the gua sha like a nice surface to kind of smoothly run through. But now we're gonna get into the actual routine. But first and foremost, what I like to do is I like to have a I like to do a toner, and I'm gonna be use the I'm gonna be using the. Don't come for me. I can't pronounce the name for God's sakes. The Vino Perfect Concentrated Brightening Essence, and I'm, it is a toner. It's a very light toner. It has the AHA property in it, that which is really good for acne scars, pores, sunspots, basically just to revive, revive like help your skin build up new collagen. So I just take some and I put some on a cotton pad like that. And I basically just wipe it all over my face. The next thing what I like to do is I like to take my hyaluronic acid and I use the inkyless one. And this just, again, this helps really keep just my skin hydrated throughout the whole day. And I just kind of bat it into my skin. I'm gonna slap my face to just wake it up. The next thing I put on is a serum, which is the Tatcha Dewy Serum. It's a plumping and renewing serum. It has really good properties in it. It has really good ingredients. It has green tea, rice, algae, and hyaluronic acid. So I just warm it up in my hands. Again, I just pat this into my skin and then smooth it out a little bit. And I try to use like one to two drops. I don't try to like squish a lot of product out onto my hand. Next, we're gonna go in with my absolute favorite moisturizer, which is the Fenty Skin uh, Moisturizer and has SPF, two in one, amazing. Again, I was like really skeptical when it came to celebrity products, mainly skincare too, um, but Rihanna, no, the girl knows what she's doing. Singer, actress, activist, Makeup guru, skin guru, there's nothing the woman can do and she's absolutely stunning. So the last thing I like to do for my skincare is I like to go in with my Super Goop Glow Screen. It's a sunscreen and yes, I do like a little bit of extra protection because honestly, uh, sunscreen is probably like the most important thing that you can put on your skin because you need to be protecting your skin. What I like about this, it has like a little bit of a tint and it doesn't like obviously give you a coverage or anything but it does help with redness kind of evens out everything and what I like about it is like it gives you this very glowy and dewy 
look which is kind of what i go for whenever i'm doing skin i really like the dewy um finish the last thing i like to put is my la mer the eye balm intense we obviously don't want bags under our eyes all right and that is it for the skincare portion and now we're gonna move on to makeup what i like to do with my makeup especially like my everyday makeup is i like to keep it light i like to keep it glowy and i like to keep it natural because you know we're wearing masks a lot today and you know i feel like there's really no point in wearing a lot of makeup because when you put on that mask it gets, starts to get like really hot in your mask and your makeup starts to like melt pretty much in there so there's really no point in having to wear so much makeup but even when like if you're not wearing a mask i like to just basically enhance everything not like overly exaggerate so what i'm gonna go in with first uh again i'm gonna go in with the fenty beauty skin tint and guys i think this works way better than most foundations and this is just a skin tint it's so light and the finish is amazing like i can't like again rihanna really knows what she's doing love the girl she's doing it great so what i like to do is i like to just put it on my back on my back i like to put it on the back of my hand i take a brush and i just wipe it and i kind of just evenly distribute it onto my face very lightly nothing too crazy So the next thing I'm going to use is my concealer and I'm going to be using the God-given NARS concealer because this stuff is just the best concealer you'll ever find. Okay, and I just kind of put some under my eyes and I put it on just on the spots. Oops. I put it on the spots where I have maybe like some scars or if I have a little bit of a breakout. While I let the concealer settle, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. And obviously, soap brows, fluffy brows are like the new thing, they're the new wave, the new trend. And so I just basically take this and I just fluff up my brows. I try not to put too much because I don't want it to like stiff up my brows, make them all crunchy and shit. And then after I do that, I take my eyebrow pencil and I basically just fill in the gaps that are a little bit empty or sparse. Now that my brows are done, I'm gonna start blending out the concealer and I like to use my fingers because I feel like they, I feel like when I use my fingers to blend out, I feel like it blends better because it warms up the product. So I just basically go in with my fingers. All right, now that we got a simple base, now we start with everything else. <laughs> so again, I really like to go with the dewier, glowier look, especially with natural makeup. So I'm going to take my Ilia Liquid Highlight, shake it up a little bit, and I'm just going to put it on again on the back of my hand, just warm the product up, and just put it on like the sides of my cheeks, but a little bit up here. And sometimes what I like to do with liquid highlighters, I like to mix it in with my foundation, so it gives you like a glowy foundation look. And I put it on like the bridge of my nose, and then I put it like on top of my lip I used to do overdo it with the highlighter and then I learned again less is more so next I'm gonna take my bronzer and this is the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer and basically I'm just gonna basically I'm just gonna warm up on the sides of my face I'm not gonna crazy contour it but just to make sure I don't look like a ghost put it on my cheeks put it above my forehead just to give you a little more of a tan look but you know it's still looking pale as usual it's fine I, and then i take my finger and i just kind of i just kind of uh, do it on the sides of my nose next i'm going to go in with a pressed powder and i'm going to be using the charlotte tilbury pressed powder and this if you haven't already known this blurs out your pores like crazy i only put it in the areas on my t-zone where i basically get more oilers oiler oilier So next I'm going to do blush and cream blush is again the new wave. So brows and cream blush that are so popular now. I'm going to be using the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in the shade Joy. And this is a very pigmented blush. So this is how... So we're basically going to take it. I'm going to put it again on the back of my hand like that. Because it is so pigmented. 
and I'm gonna just swirl it with my fingers to warm up the product. I'm gonna basically put it on my cheeks, a little bit on my nose, like kind of in this general area where it basically gets sunburned because we like that kind of cute sunburned look. And I put it a little bit on my lip. I'll, I'll just take a brush and just kind of blend it out. As I said in my blush, I'm gonna be using the Patrick Ta. This has both like a cream and a powder. But today I'm gonna just be using the, the powder. Sometimes I like to use the cream, but I like the Rare Beauty color better to be honest. But I just kind of use this just to set it in. Okay, nice. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with my mascara. I don't like to like clump up my lashes because then my lashes end up falling out because I do have like longer lashes. They just tend to stick out, not up. I always get complimented saying I have really long lashes, but they just tend to stick out instead of up. So what I basically like to do is I like to obviously lift them up with my mascara, but what I mainly try to focus on is I try to bring the lashes into this direction to kind of give it like a cat eye look kind of my eye, my eyes are like really really round so i like to give it more length and normally you would obviously do that with what's going on and mainly you like to obviously use and obviously mainly you would do that with eyeliner but i don't really want to do eyeliner is it thursday today it's th Thursday, the gardeners are here, that's why. So I don't know if you could see the difference. Are you kidding me? I wanna film one damn video. One damn video. I also try not to put too many layers either because I don't wanna clump up my lashes so you can pretty much see that it kind of like lengthened my eyes a little bit even though my eyes are still around but it's fine <laughs> okay almost done almost done what i like to do with my lips is i just like to give it a tint so i take this like um like brick like mauve pink this kind of color like that's something that matches like the color of my lips and i don't like put it on like this i just take my finger again just warm it up in my hands and i just kind of I just basically bat it into my lips. Last but not least, um, to give it some moisture so my lips don't get chapped or dried up, I'm gonna be using a tinted lip oil. And this is this is the one from Ilya, and I really like this one because it works as a lip balm, a lip gloss, and lipstick. Because it gives you tint, it gives you moisture, and it gives you gloss. Just watch, just like. It's very smooth, it's very soft. It just gives me some color. That is the end of this. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you know when I post. And give this video a big thumbs up if you really liked it. Comment down below any suggestions you want to see in my next video. The line is open, I'm taking any suggestions. So please do let me know. And thank you to Vogue for having me. I really appreciate it. Um, and this has been my beauty secrets. Bye!